Ferguson, we have seen a lot of, in, in still the grand jury meets, we don't know what the outcome will be, but there's been a lot of leaking uh, from someone by someone that indicates this maybe is not, quote, a slam dunk, an indictment against this police officer. Right. You've been to Ferguson, I know you've talked to the minority community there. If no indictment is returned by this jury, what do you foresee for Ferguson? I want to see something constructive come out of this. And when I went to Ferguson, I sense that there's an undercurrent of unease in Ferguson, but also in a lot of mistrust our big, of police and the judicial yeah, system. Yes, and, and really throughout the United States. This isn't just Ferguson. The war on drugs has had a disproportionate impact on African Americans and Hispanics. White kids are using drugs also, but they're not going to jail. Black kids, brown kids are populating our jails. It's destroying our families. They sense it, and that's why there's this unease between police and the African American community. It's also not a very integrated police force. I don't have all the answers or know exactly why not, but I did want to hear from them, and I'm a big proponent of saying that the war on drugs needs to be changed dramatically. We need to quit saying that the answer is to put people in jail for a decade or two and throw away the key and that's the end of their life. Right, but the Ferguson case was about the killing of a young black man at the hands of a white cop. The details differ between the two sides. You have seen the rage uh, that is in Ferguson as a result of like, what they say was a bad treatment by police, a justice system that doesn't work. In this specific case, what would a no bill? What if the grand jury doesn't indict this police well, officer? What does that mean for Ferguson? I've tried not to weigh in on the specifics of the case because I don't know the police officer and it's all secret and it's grand jury and I don't want to be the federal guy that comes in and says, oh, I know what's always right for community. But I do want to be the one who says that let's channel this into the, the anger or the, the upset or the unease. Let's channel it into something positive. And so what I suggested when I was in Ferguson was I suggested I want more people to vote. You want more people to vote. I will help you get more people to vote. And the biggest thing impeding voting in our country, we've talked about voter ID and all that, that's not the problem in our country. The problem is people who have had felony convictions are prevented from voting. Right. And I have several pieces of legislation to try to allow people to vote. And I think if they channel their energy into registering to vote, Ferguson is over 60% African American. If they would register people to vote, they can have a bigger voice in their community Absolutely. and a constructive voice. 